it's okay now there is another kind of the pronoun and that's supposed to be called as you know relative pronoun relative pronoun what's relative pronoun relative pronoun is a word which actually you know connecting joining or cementing or linking two different syntactical structures of the sentence i mean to say in simple terms that uh, which joins two clauses two phrases or two parts of the sentence in order to make it one okay so it's having the connecting purpose it's having the linking purpose it's having the cementing purpose it's having the joining purpose okay of the two structures of the sentence so as to develop the unique single structure uh, out of this very two or three structures okay for example i write a sentence the man who is a doctor has left for example the sentence so far as the sentence is concerned if we will analyze it on the basis of parts of speech then what is the there is article okay definite article it is what's man's noun what's who okay who is pronoun this is related to pronoun this is related to pronoun okay and what is is verb what is uh, it is indefinite indefinite article okay what's doctor's noun what's has is verb what's left it's verb the difference between the two verbs is that this is you know auxiliary verb and this is main verb we call it as also principal verb this we also call as helping verb okay and out of helping verb it is primary uh, helping verb it is actually auxiliary primary uh, you know auxiliary verb and it is primary auxiliary primary auxiliary we don't want to go into the deep of this you know analysis process analytical process just you know this this we have to see actually these are two sentences the first is the man is a doctor the man is a doctor okay second was uh, sentence is who first uh, first is first is the man has left second is who is a doctor okay these are actually the two sentences which have been combined in order to form single sentence and the two sentences have been cemented by a particular word the word is who so who is relating the two parts of the sentence and since it is relating so relative and since it is pronoun okay because who doctor doctor is noun and for him the word who has been used so who is pronoun and since it is relating the two relating the two parts of the sentence that's why it has been given the name relative so relative pronoun okay so its purpose is to relate the two parts of the sentence actually this is a complex sentence and in this very sentence there is the man has left this is the principal clause this sentence this complex sentence is composed of two clauses this sentence is composed of two clauses okay what's clause clause is a group of sentences which gives us some sense but not a complete sense and it's having subject and predicate okay this clause so in this very co complex sentence there are two clauses one is supposed to be called as the principal clause 
and the second one is subordinate clause. If you'll, you know, analyze this very sentence, then if you'll break down this very sentence, then there comes, there comes two sentences, okay? The first sentence is the man has left. The man has left is complete sentence. It's not having any defect, okay? So it is, what I mean, so it's a clause, complete clause. It's principal clause, okay? It is principal, principal clause. I mean to say this very sentence is quite intact. It's not dependent, this very sentence. It's completely independent sentence, okay? But so far as this very part of the sentence is concerned, it is, I mean to say, the dependent part of the sentence. We can call it as also subordinate class. This is principal class or main class. This is subordinate, principal class, main class or independent class. And this is subordinate class or we can call it as dependent class. It is dependent on this very part. Because this very part of the sentence is, you know, seeking for the answer and the answer lies in this very sentence so this is self-sufficient sentence but it is seeking for something and the answer of this very question lies in this very sentence so this this part of the sentence is needy for the answer so it is depend dependable it is sorry it is dependent it's dependent on this very part because the question is being raised over here and the answer lies here so this is you know worrying for the answer and it's seeking for the answer and seeking and answer lies in this very part of the sentence. So this is principle, main, independent class. It doesn't, it, it's, it's not having any problem, it's not having any concern, it's not having any query or something else, any defect. So this is principle class and this is subordinate class. And these two classes are being joined by this very word, that's who. So who is relating? So who is relating? these two sentences okay since it is relating and who who for doctor okay okay doctor so this is noun this is noun okay or main main doctor and who they are one and the same okay but the only difference is that this is noun and this noun and this is pronoun okay so it is pronoun and it is joining these two very syntactical structures of the sentence two parts of the sentence so it is acting as you know, so that it, it has been given the name relate to. And since it is the pronoun of this very sentence, uh, of this very word, so it is pronoun. That's why it has been given the compound uh, name of compound uh, word like this, relative pronoun. Okay? So this is relative pronoun. This is relative pronoun. Similarly, there are different words. The important thing is that how we'll be able to categorize a particular word into different parts of speeches. The first thing is that we have to see the functionality of that very word in the center. Then we'll be able to, uh, you know, decipher its meaning. Then we'll be able to point out its, you know, definition. Then we'll be able to uh, classify it into different parts of speech. So we have to see the functionality of that very word in the center. Then we'll be able to put forward its definition accordingly. Okay, thank you.